I'm Sarah Ridley and I'm the Assembly and Test Manager for Caterpillar Remanufacturing. What you've got here are some of the engines that we get back, various states of uh, horribleness, and they're the ones that we would then turn back into new engines. I'm, well, I'm, ba I'm basically an engineer, but what I also do is I make sure that we have all the parts we need to take an engine that's been used once and give it a new life. We build it up, um, having machined it and done all sorts of other exciting things to it, and then we test it and make sure it's okay and send it out to a customer. And they actually end up as good as new and as strong as they used to be. The fan is obviously damaged here, so we know that there's an issue there with the fan. We can see that the pipe work is also damaged. I absolutely love my job, I really do. We take things that would normally be scrapped, thrown into landfill, and we put them back as their original life. What that means is that we're not recycling, it's better than that, we use less energy, much better for the planet, and we can give things two, three, sometimes four lives before they have to be recycled or scrapped. I think everybody, everybody who can should be an engineer, and particularly in remanufacturing, it's so exciting. You don't know from one day to the next what you're going to do. And you, you're making everything a little bit better. You're saving landfill, you're saving energy, and you're giving people back things that they need at roughly two-thirds of what it would cost for a brand new one. We actually have three different build areas, and this is where the smaller automotive engines are built. When I was at school, I really loved science and maths. I suppose if you'd have asked me then what I wanted to do as a career, I might have thought medicine, and, and people looking at me might have thought the same sort of thing. But actually, what really, really made me change, I think, was seeing the WISE campaign in the 80s, which showed you that science and engineering was something that women could do and was available to you as a career. And I thought, I could really make things better doing that. It's a very strange mix of people we have in the factory at the moment. Some are here, um, and we have families that work here, and so some are here because other people have worked here. But largely they're people who are interested in engines. A lot of our people tinker with engines at home and do stuff on cars at home and have a real interest in cars and engines and, and that sort of thing. But it's not essential. One of the wonderful things about the WISE campaign was they brought a bus round to schools which had all sorts of engineering and science things on it and you could go in and you could sort of try them out and say, you know, hands on, have a go at some problems. And the problem solving bit was the thing for me, I think, that I just thought, wow, you could do something different all the time. I, I feel very strongly about women in engineering and science because there aren't enough of us. I mean, I really thought things would get better and it has got a bit better, but not a lot. There are still very few women who choose it as a career path. And I think that's because of the image, which is of heavy industry and spanners and ovals. And if you want that, there is a bit of that, but there's so much more. And it is just a wonderful thing. You work with people, so you have the whole people side of things, but you also get to, to problem solve every day. It can be different if that's what you want every single day. Can't imagine a better thing to do. Now, you might think it's an unusual colour, it's a very bright, pale, greeny blue, but the reason for that is it means it instantly, in the field, you can see a leak. If there's any oil coming out anywhere, you can see it on this colour, and that's the reason for them being this colour. This is my absolute hobby horse. People are sick and tired of me saying, remanufacturing, engineering, it's wonderful, do it. I'd like to be dragging people off the streets, particularly young women, and saying, just be an engineer. Yeah.